Uh, hello there, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, yada yada yada, wherever you are in this mud ball we call Earth. Hey, you see this pickup here? I don't fucking believe it. Both my batteries are dead? I didn't charge any of them? Shit, I'm gonna have to film the rest of this probably with my phone. Damn! I'm usually on the ball with that shit. You know, I ha I was walking from up there here on St. Sabaya Street here in Montreal and I was actually hesitating on filming this van because I'm taking a good look at it and I'm like, ah, hubcaps aren't original, not very nice, it's dirty, it's got rust issues, but you know what? It's still an antique and although maybe you're from out west and these types of things are common along with, you know, box Chevy pickups and Ford pickups and stuff, the Conaline, Dodge Rams. There's a lot of them out here, but not as many. And look at that beautiful low sun setting. Can't show that too much. It could fuck up the sensors in the camera. As I was examining this beauty, and uh, beauty, as they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. Uh, I would tell you, judging by the two-tone beige and brown, which is original, that is an 85 to 87, I think, 88. Incidentally, our uh, Prime Minister hero there, uh, Monsieur Trudeau there, he... Uh, he used to have an 87 Suburban, exactly the same colors, the same paint scheme with the white, uh, the beige stripe. Anyway, I have to tell you right away, I noticed the canoe on the top. That's a really nice touch. You know, a lot of these old vans, they come out from out west, so it's kind of funny to see that canoe. It's, it seems to be kind of symbolic Canadian kind of a thing, you know? What do people think of in Canada? They think of the nature, and they think of beavers, and all that shit, you know? By the way, you see that? Ongle. It's French for nails. Man, I can't believe I didn't charge these batteries. I'm actually thinking they're both dead even. Like, I'm going to have to buy new ones. I think they both died at the same goddamn time, even. Unfortunately. Ah, it's still in good shape, though, you know. There's a Jeep there. Nice color. I like the color of your Jeep, buddy. Yeah, man. Yeah, that canoe is a really nice touch. And, of course, uh, more than likely, uh, power for that van is probably a good old 305, 350 V8 small block, unkillable, and basically one of the best engines ever made, ever. I mean, of all engines, I'm not kidding, including Rolls Royce, Mercedes, whatever. That's when GM really had their shit together. They didn't fuck things up by changing things all the time. Well, that's a first. I thought I had changed the battery and I... Oh no, I did change it. This one is dead too. Oh, don't I feel like the fool. Uh, well, we're just going to let her run dry because I don't feel like uh, doing two cameras to film an old fucking 80s uh, Chevy van, you know what I'm saying? So it's quick, quick, chop, chop. Is it a Beauville? It's a Beauville, and if you don't know me by now, like that song, I am visually impaired, I can't drive le legally. I'm so nuts about old vehicles that I live vicariously through people who have them. Like last week when I got a ride in my friend 70 DeVille, and that's going to make for a beautiful video. Either you've seen it or you're not, I don't know. I hear an ambulance responding, something responding up there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the caps are alright, but uh, I would just like roll on the regular rims and just, just shine them up a bit, that's all, you know. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's still neat to see considering uh, the, the sea of never-ending hundreds of boring cars that go street to street. It's always that made my fire the same thing as we say in English. And, uh, you know, at least there's people who likes to live in their vans and camp in them. And they're, it doesn't matter how old they are, pretty much. They're enjoying them. They're driven, even though they, they cost a fortune on gas. But that might be a cost of fortune on gas. But like I just said, those motors and those things are unkillable. You could put hundreds of thousands of kilometers around them. And the insurance is peanuts! So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I still can't believe I didn't uh, charge uh, both batteries. That's, uh, that's weird. Uh, but I have been filming a lot of shit lately, so a lot, a lot of good shit. So, uh, thanks for watching. Merci de regarder. The guy over here is wearing an Expos t-shirt. boy, old school all the way. Expos, man, they should have never have left. Look at this, this is nice, eh? I like that. Old school. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.